Once upon the time, there lived a king who was always generous and kind to poor people. He always cared to respect and reward people for their knowledge and wisdom. Hearing about the generosity of the king, a poor man came to meet at his place. The man presented a poem which he was written in front of the king. Impressed by the quality of work, the king asked the man to name reward he wanted. Are you sure that I can ask anything? The man asked. Sure, you may ask anything you like, king replied. The man pointed to the royal chessboard and asked, Your majesty, in that 64 boxes, in the first box, kindly put one number of rice of grains, in the second, double of one, which is two, in the third box, double of two, which is four, and so on, until we reach 64 boxes. I want that much of grains as a reward. The king thought that man was crazy and asked, Are you sure you want only grains, not gold or diamonds? Yes, I'm sure, your majesty, the man replied. Then royal servant started putting in grains on the chessboard. By the time there is the last box, the king had to give away the kingdom to the man to fulfill his word. The king failed to see and understand the objection of the man, who by doubling the value in each box was cleverly putting the compounding effect into his advantage. Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. Albert Einstein Spend less than you make. Always be saving something. Put it into tax deferred account. Over time, it will begin to amount to something. This is such a no-brainer. Charlie Munger. Let me just give you a quick analogy and unpack this example for hypothetical college-educated young woman, Maria, who was born in 1944. In 1966, she is 22 years old with zero savings. Makes $15,000 a year, getting raised at 1% annually, even below inflation, saves 15% pre-tax, invest into S&P 500 index every year. So what does Maria has saved up when she is 72 in 2016? Well, she has over 6.4 million of dollars. Just by sacrificing 15% of her annual salary, she doesn't have to worry about retirement money any longer. Some barriers Maria has encountered on the way. Market crash in 1973 until 1974. Crash again in 1987. Dot-com bubble and bust in 1997 until 2000. 9-11, the complete air travel shut down in 2001. Housing bubble in 2007 until 2009. Seven recessions. Between 2000 and 2002, Maria saw her savings drop from $3.3 million to $1.9 million. She stayed the course through this recession, 44% drop. Between 2007 and 2009, Maria's savings drops from $4 million to $2 million. She again stayed the course. After all that, starting with a salary of $15,000 a year, in 1966, getting raised at 1% below inflation. Well, now she has over $6.4 million. It's in the nature of stock market to go way down from time to time. There's no system to avoid bad markets. You can't do it unless you try to time the market, which is seriously a dumb thing to do. Charlie Munger The Golden Rules Start saving very early in your life, early 20s. Maximize use of tax advantage accounts. Stay away from 401k. Stick to low cost index fund. 
do not dance in and out of the font. Play the game for 4 to 5 decades. The simple idea is, always spend less than you earn. Invest in a well diversified index like S&P 500. Let the power of compounding do the rest. So this is the end of this video. I hope you found something valuable, especially if you're in your early 20s as a college student. Think about your future. Think about the power of compounding, the wonders it can do for you. So thank you guys so much for watching.